Do you use JotForm to capture data but want a better way to monetize submissions? If so, keep watching this short video. JotForm is perfect for creating custom forms, embedding them anywhere online, collecting data, and tons more. But how can we keep contacts engaged after capturing their information? Well, today we'll explain how JotForm users are growing their brands by converting submissions into lifelong subscribers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe button below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we turn these JotForm submissions into dollars for our brand? Well, the answer is actually simple. You see, you can create long-term relationships by automatically adding JotForm contacts into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected with your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around your brand. You can allow your contacts to have profiles and interact with each other. You can monetize contacts with recurring payments. And best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff, sending our job form contacts into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now, please keep in mind that this will also work with other integration platforms like Pably, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we have a simple form that we've created inside of JotForm. And the key benefits of JotForm are that we can embed this form anywhere on the internet, like our website and so forth. And we can also ask as many questions as needed to collect all the relevant information that we want. So in this video example, what we're gonna do here is we are going to fill out the JotForm with our contact information and then we are going to automatically create a new user profile inside of our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is a preview of what this looks like. This is our member community. As you can see, we have just over 100 different results at the moment. So we're going to fill out the form and it's going to automatically add the member inside of our member community. So to set this up, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to head over here to Zapier and we are going to create a new Zap. Now inside of the trigger, this is going to be JotForm. So we are going to type in JotForm and we are going to select that. Then for the event, it is going to be a new submission. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to click on continue. Next up, we have to choose our account. So we're going to go to choose. I'm going to go ahead and connect a new account. That is going to open up a little pop-up window here. And once that opens up, it's going to ask us two different questions. We're just going to leave both of these on no for now because they don't really apply to us. And we are going to say yes, continue to JotForm. Now, if you are already logged into JotForm, it's going to automatically connect you. However, if you're not logged in, you will need to enter your username or email and your password and then click on login. And once we enter that information, this is what the allow screen will look like. So we will click on allow. And that's going to go ahead and connect us to Zapier. So now that we have that connected and we have our account selected, we're going to click on continue. Next, for the trigger, it's going to be the form that we have created. So in my case, it's called the new user signup form. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on continue. And then we're going to test the trigger just to make sure the connection is there. And as we can see, they have pulled in our results so we can continue with the selected record. And then down here for the action, this is going to be Brilliant Directories. So we're going to search for Brilliant Directories. Then for the event, it is going to be to create a user. So we're going to select Create User there. And then we're going to click on Continue. Next up for Choose Account, we're going to go to Choose. We will go ahead and connect a new account. And once again, that's going to open up a pop-up window. And then inside of this window, it's going to ask us for our website URL and our API key. Now for the API key, you'll notice that we have the API details and it's a hyperlink. We can actually click on that and that's gonna take us to the exact screen that we need to go to, which is our API screen inside of Brilliant Directories. And then once we're in here in the top right, we're gonna click on generate API key. It's gonna ask us for a name. I'm just gonna call mine jotform-zapier and then we're gonna click on save API key. And once we save it, it's gonna create it for us and I'm gonna go ahead and copy the API key click on OK, click on Close, go back inside of our pop-up window, and we're going to paste it in there just like that. Next, we need our website URL. Now, that's going to be the same screen, but this time, we're going to click the little orange button that says Visit Website. 
And once I click on that, that's going to open up our website. And all we have to do is actually copy the website URL inside of our address bar. And once we have it copied, we can come back in here and we can paste it just like so. Now inside of the website URL, they only want the up to the .com without any of the trailing slashes. So mine has slash home. So we can actually delete that because we want to end it with .com. Okay. And then we're going to say, yes, continue to brilliant directories. And then once we do that, that's going to connect us to Zapier. We can actually jump back over here to Zapier and we're going to wait for that to load in there. As we can see, it's loaded in there. So now we can click on continue. And once we do that, we are now inside of the action of Brilliant Directories. Now, this is where we can map together any of the data that we are collecting inside of our drop form. We can map it together here so that it is automatically passed over through to Brilliant Directories. So in my case, I'm collecting the first name, the last name, the phone number, the email. So I'm going to scroll down here until I see the first name, last name. So we have first name here. So I'm going to click inside of that box. And when I do, it's going to show me the information that we are collecting inside of my form. So we can see here the first name is there. And then we also have the last name. So we're going to go to last name, click inside the box. And then we're going to select the last name here. And then we're going to scroll down. We actually want their email and phone number. So we have phone number. And we are going to select the phone number. And then lastly, we have the email address. And here is the email field. So I'm going to click on there and then we are going to select the email address there. Okay. So although I am only collecting the first name, last name, phone number, and email, you can collect whatever you want and you can map it all together here. So whatever you are asking, whatever questions, you can map that all together here and pass it to brilliant directories. Okay. So once you have this filled out and mapped together, we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on continue. All right. Once we select continue, we are now going to test the action. And this is going to test it and make sure that it's able to pass this information over to our Brilliant Directories website. And as we can see, a user was sent successfully. So now what we want to do is we want to publish this. So once it's published, it's going to take place automatically every time someone submits the JOT form. Okay, so it's published, it's active. So now I want to test it and make sure that it's working. So we're going to head over here to our JOT form and we're going to go ahead and fill it out. So we're going to click on start. And we are going to say our first name is Marcus. Next, our last name is Jones. Next, once again, it's going to ask us for a phone number. All right. And then lastly, our email address. So we're going to say Marcus at mjones.com. And then we are going to submit it. All right. Now, as we can see, thank you. The submission has been received. Now, assuming we set up Zapier correctly, I should be able to come over here to our member directory. And when I refresh this, we should now see Marcus Jones was automatically added to our member community. So let's go ahead and refresh it. And as we can see, Marcus Jones has been added to the community automatically. And that is absolutely brilliant. And there we have it. This is a must have integration that every Jot form user should set up. So if you're ready to turn your JotForm contacts into lifelong subscribers, click the free trial link in the description below and you'll get instant access to start your own membership website. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and we look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.